Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress, I'm Joanne. I have another thrift haul to share with you from the Durham Rescue Mission outlet. Now when I went yesterday, I went on kind of a mission. And that mission was to be a little bit more decisive in the things that I was picking up. And not just pick up things for the sense of picking them up. So I was trying to be a bit more selective and I only spent a total with tax of $6.54. So let's see if I actually stuck to that more selective thrifting yesterday. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and seeing what I am all about. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back again. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the things that I'll be keeping for myself, and there's not many, and then I'll get to those things that I will be reselling. And for those of you that are new here, I am a part-time reseller, and I resell here locally on Facebook Marketplace, on Poshmark, and on eBay, and as well as selling things directly to uh, viewers. So if you happen to see anything in this video that you might be interested in purchasing, go ahead and shoot me an email at the address that will be uh, listed in the description box for this video. So the few things that I picked up for myself, I wish I could have found the other piece for this because I believe this was part of a mortar and pestle. Um, you can see the inside of it there. And I did look and look and look and I could not find that piece that would go inside. And I don't know which part is the mortar and which part is the pestle, but I think this would be really cute um, just on one of my shelves, either just sitting alone like this or maybe with some faux greenery in it. So that I'm gonna be keeping for myself. And the wood grain, I mean, look at the wood grain on this. It, I think it's just, just beautiful. So maybe it was a good thing I didn't find the other piece for it. I found a couple of paint brushes. And then I found one more plastic bin that I'm going to be using um, just as organ uh, an organizational piece in my refrigerator. So I'm going to clean this up and put it in. If it fits in one of my crisper drawers, I'm going to put it in there. And if not, it'll just go into my refrigerator someplace. So that is all that I picked up for myself. I found several Tervis mugs. Um, two of them are navy. They have a little bit of surface kind of scuffing to them, but I think still they have a good chance of selling. And then this one has a swordfish and another fish on it. I don't know my fish, so I don't know what that is. And then it says Guy Harvey on the other side. And there's a lot of glare there, apologize for that. Um, this one has a little bit more surface scuffing on it than the navy ones did, um, but this is a little bit larger as well. Um, I guess like a, a travel tumbler. And then the last one has this cute little ladybug on it. Surface scratching on this one isn't too bad, but these Tervis mugs um, has a fairly decent resell value. I think probably for, this is without doing any kind of research, but I think probably for those, the navy ones, maybe $12 or so on Poshmark, and these larger tumblers, I'm thinking maybe 15 or $18. But again, that's before doing any kind of research on them. And you know that kind of granny chic, I guess, is in right now, which I'm still not sure I know what that is. But I thought these two candle holders are really, really pretty. So it's two metal candle holders. And these would be for a taper candle with the really pretty soft pink roses on them. They have to be cleaned up a little bit. They're just kind of dusty. And I don't know if there was a tag on one of them. No, no tags on either one of them. So I'm not sure uh, where they originated from, but I thought they were really, really pretty. Got those two. And then I found this, which I'm guessing is brass. Um, this has a partial sticker on the bottom of it, but most of it has been worn off. And this I'm not, I mean, other than just dusting it off, I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm just going to leave this patina as it is. 
but I thought that was another really pretty tapered candle holder. And these, I love these. I'm not sure why, but I was really happy to find four of them in the bins. And are they all the same? Yes, they are all the same. It's the set of coasters, and look at the floral detail on side of it. I think they're so pretty, and I think these two have that kind of cottage core, granny chic look to them. Um, let me see if any of them say where they were made. They do not, but there are four of them in really beautiful condition and made out of wood. So I, I love these coasters. I found a couple of vintage hankies, just plain white hankies, and I thought these would be great for staging purposes in my booth. And as well as I will put a price tag on them, not any more than probably four to five dollars each. But I found two of them. And let's see, this one does have the tag as to where it was made. Uh, they are cotton. Oh, Sri Lanka. They were made in Sri Lanka. So I have those two for kind of, like I said, staging purposes. Um, this, I don't know if this is a vintage box or not, but I thought it was really interesting. It is a box from Christian Dior, and there was a perfume that came inside of it. Oh, get itchy nose. Uh, yep, see Dior perfume, and it has this white little pillow in it. Uh, it just has to be cleaned out a little bit, but really it's in very good condition. See a little bit of scuff right there. I, I'll see if I can get that off. And here are the pull tags that were on it. There's two, one on each side. I just thought it was kind of a neat box. And uh, I could use this initially to maybe display something inside of it up at the booth, as well as put a price on this. I do want to do a little bit of research on it first, though, before I put it into the booth and make sure that I'm going to price it appropriately. Uh, okay, believe it or not, I found this, and some of you are going to say, yeah, I can believe you found that in the trash, and others are going to say, oh, I'm so glad you saved that from the trash, but it's this cute little vintage watering can in this really bright and happy yellow color. There are, oh wait, actually there are markings on the bottom of it. Um, made in, oh, this is from Phillips 66, the gas station. Um, garden scene, it says on the bottom, made in the USA. Oh, see that? So that is a vintage little watering can. So I'm going to clean that up and get that into the booth pretty quickly because I think folks are now we're into July. I'm thinking probably by uh, mid-August or so, folks are going to start looking for some fall. They're looking forward to the cooler weather and some fall items. So I'm going to clean that up and get it into the booth. Um, this is a, let's see, it says in the back of it, let me read it to you first and then I'll show it to you. It says, an archival print from the studio of Clay Carmichael. This print is signed and titled by, by the artist, printed with high, I'm sorry, with light, fast inks on acid-free paper and suitable for framing. Acid-free matting is recommended. And it's all these little kitty cats. It's called The Rooftop Cat, and it's all these little kitty cats doing all kinds of different little things up there on the rooftop. I thought this was just adorable, and I like the pastel colors in this as well. So I'm just going to put this as it is. I'm not going to frame it because I, I think, well, first of all, I don't have a frame for it. That's probably number one. But second, I, maybe someone would want to choose their own particular frame for this. And I just noticed now it just has a little bit of, like it got kind of crunched, just a tiny bit in that corner there. But I thought this was a pretty cute print. Then we have a couple of hooks. These are brass. This first one is a whale. And I'm lucky that they came with the screws. And then this one is a sailboat. The sailboat is pretty cool looking. 
So these two pieces would be great in a nautically themed bathroom or in someone's beach house, I think. So I was really happy to have found those. These I will put aside for my Easter, springtime and Easter booth. But those are really cute, these little cushy egg flowers. Really cute. And then did I get Tupperware? Of course I got Tupperware. And I found the whole thing this time of the Lettuce Keeper. So it's got that domed lid on it that a lot of you were telling me about in one of my last videos. And then it has the piece inside to put the actual lettuce on. So I'm gonna clean that one up and get it up into the booth. Found another one of the colanders. There were actually two of them there uh, yesterday, but the second one, I'm thinking, so glad that I saw it when I did, had a crack along the bottom of it. Um, so anyway, we've got another colander. So I think that's now two colanders that I have. And I did not know Tupperware, I'm finding so much out about Tupperware, came in this really vibrant pink color. So I had to do some research on this. I'm not sure what the name of this bowl is because it has a very particular kind of handle to it, as you can see. And I am pretty certain that I'm going to have, or at least fingers crossed, pretty certain that I'm going to have a lid that's going to fit this bowl here. And then one last piece of Tupperware, and that's this kind of aqua green lidded, just a, a little um, uh, storage container here. But it's this one is in very, very good condition. And this cutting board, I think I have a lot of cutting boards already, and I know that, and I haven't done anything with any of them yet. But this one I picked up because of the pattern on it. I've not seen one that has this kind of cool looking pattern to it. So got that. And I will probably just um, sand this off both sides of it, just sand it down, make it a little bit smoother, uh, just put some wax on it. And this is the wax that I talked about in my last video. And no, this is not food safe. And I will put that on uh, the tags when I go to sell these. It's a paste finishing wax. It protects and polishes furniture trim and paneling. It's from Minwax and that is what I'm going to be using just to bring the wood back, you know, a little bit more to life and just protect it. And then this piece I think is another piece that you could call that granny chic cottage core it's, I'm guessing that this is a hot plate or a hot pad, but it has this really pretty uh, embroidered, I guess that's embroidery, some kind of needlework flower in the center of it with the green around the outside. So I thought that was a super pretty piece. So let me see. Um, then that's it. I didn't get a lot. So I think I was a little more uh, selective on the things that I picked up yesterday. So my favorite of the things that I showed you, okay, it's kind of a toss up between these because as soon as I saw these, I really liked them. Between these and, hold on, <laughs> and they're not going to cooperate. Here we go and these two candlestick holders. So I'm going to have two favorites uh, on this haul, which are, again, the four coasters, the wooden coasters, and these two uh, really soft, soft pink candlestick holders. So those are my favorites from this week's haul. And if you would, I'd love it in the comment section down below. Let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's haul. And that's all I've got for you today. I will be back again later on, hopefully the end of this week, but definitely next Sunday for another weekly Sunday thrift haul for you. I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of uh, content where I share things that I have thrifted, 
I would love it if you would join my YouTube family and hit that all notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So until my next one, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Have a good week. I'll see you soon. Bye.